Now let's use a table in order to find probabilities. Numbers in the table represent the number of students from the class that belong to each of the categories. If two people are randomly selected in succession from the students in this class, find the probability that they both have green eyes. We're going to be looking at finding the probability that the first person has green eyes, and then we're going to multiply that times the probability that the second person has green eyes, given that the first person had green eyes. Now, notice that we're going to have to take into account the fact that we have how many people with green eyes? Well, we have 22 people with green eyes. How many people are in the chart? Well, we can add together and notice we have 40 with brown eyes, we have 38 with blue eyes, and we have 22 with green eyes. That's giving us a total of 100 people. So the probability that we choose someone with green eyes is going to be 22 out of 100. Now, if we choose a person with green eyes, that means that at this point there are only 21 people left in the group with green eyes from which to choose the second person. So that's going to give us 21 as our numerator. And since we've already chosen one person, that means we only have 99 left in order to choose from at this point. Now we can go ahead and simplify. Notice that we can divide both numerator and denominator in our first fraction by 2. That's going to give us 11 over 50. In our second fraction, notice we can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. That's going to give us 7 over 33. And then notice that between fractions we have a common factor of 11. So we're going to divide 11 into 11 and 33 by 11. And now we're going to multiply 1 times 7 in our numerator to give us 7, and 50 times 3 in our denominators to give us 150, and that's our probability.